The pandemic is creating problems for a local farming operation that suddenly is scrambling to find buyers for its hogs. The clock is running for Taylor Farms, which may be forced to euthanize adult hogs that are ready for market. Jeff Newmeyer is live now near Monroeville with more on the story, Jeff. Yeah, Brian, Krista, uh, uh, Taylor Farms posted a message on Facebook this weekend uh, helping spur the sale of about uh, 200 hogs. But uh, at last check, the business was still looking for uh, the ability to uh, to be able to find buyers for about 1,000 other hogs. Now, Taylor Farms sells its uh, pigs mainly to the Tyson Foods pork processing plant over in Logansport, but it can't right now because the factory is shut down due to hundreds of workers there getting infected with the novel coronavirus. The adult hogs have to be sold and cleared out to make room for baby pigs being moved in. Bringing the matter to light on Facebook has generated inquiries from potential buyers from as far away as North Carolina, Florida, and California. It's going really good. It really has amazed me. I didn't think that there'd be that many people. I just thought it was a an idea my daughter thought of and I didn't think it'd go anywhere but it's really been amazing people's really really I mean they want to help I hate seeing uh, animals getting euthanized you know and, uh, help him out help us out some meat and uh, just uh, helping everybody out in bad times now Dan Jackson who you just heard from says his family will butcher the hogs he bought and then will pass out the meat to family and others who need the food. People who buy the hogs from Taylor Farms are responsible for arranging a butchering service. It's not clear exactly uh, what uh, what the timetable will be for Tyson plant the Tyson food plant uh, reopening and then resuming purchasing hogs. So this is a challenge that could be impacting several area hog farmers. And uh, Brian and Krista, COVID-19, of course, hitting the local economy in a number of ways. Yeah, but the evidence that social media does have some power here, at least for them, for some of those animals. Jeff, thank you.